Charlie NASCAR here. I'm not going to be talking about NASCAR in this video. Surprise, surprise. But I want to tell you all a little bit about myself before we go to get into the important business. I'm a God-fearing man. I love this country. I support the troops. I love the fact I have the right covered in the Second Amendment to bear arms, to protect my family, and to provide food for hunting. I like the fact that our troops protect us so we can keep our freedoms and liberties. That is why it's important to get out and vote tomorrow, Tuesday on Election Day. I am definitely voting Donald Trump. No ifs, ands, or about it. Everybody's saying, oh, thank you for Donald Trump after we said that audio. Da, 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 da. Let me tell you something. That leaked audio that everybody keeps talking shit about. Guys, anybody out there, any guy out there that says, oh, no, that's bad, is fucking lying. I've been doing construction work for the last 16 years. You know what I call what he said said in that leaked audio? I call that a fucking Tuesday. When we're all fucking fucking lazy and don't can't think of anything else better to say. I mean that ain't that ain't shit. And everybody says, oh, look how mean he is. You know what? I like the fact he is the way he is. I like the fact he's blunt. I like the fact he's brash. I like the fact that he will talk shit. Because that's the way I am. He best represents me in this country. You know, he's a fighter. That's what this country needs. It's a fighter. There's a guy that's going to go out there and get shit done and is not going to take crap from anybody. The man has already went out and told all these other companies, hey, you know what? To the auto industry, he told the auto industry, you got to start bringing production factories back into this country. Or I'll put a tariff so high on you guys, you guys will never be able to sell another car again in this country. That's the kind of president we need. That is why the media is so against Trump. Because Trump is not going to go ahead and fall for these special interests. He's going to go ahead and set them all straight. He has, and everybody says, well, he's got special interests. He's a billionaire. He owns businesses. All his businesses are real estate and golf courses and hotels and casinos in this country, pretty much. So guess what? He's definitely going to look out for people in this country because that's where his special interest lies. His, his only interest overseas is getting a woman. So, hey, you know, can't really blame him there. And another thing, all these guys come out and say, oh, I'm manly because I say I'm with her. Saying I'm with her and saying I'm manly because I'm saying, hey, I'm manly because I'm dating a Kardashian's mom named Caitlyn Jenner. It basically means you're a fucking faggot. Fuck it. I have no problem with gay people, but that, that's, there's no other way to say it. I'm not trying to be homophobic or nothing. You know, I believe everybody has a right to choose, you know, their sexual preference. I also do not believe no one has a right to choose their gender. That's something by God. If people go around like to go ahead and change your sex and stuff, man, fuck you all. I don't care. Write down in the comment section what an asshole I am. I don't really give a shit. I'm not taking taking an excuse from someone that doesn't want to have balls anymore. Or someone that wishes they had balls attached to them. I don't give a fuck. Y'all, y'all, fuck you all a bunch of godless people. But anyway, get back onto it. Trump is going to be the right choice for this country. We need a serious change. Everybody says, oh, things are better now. Well, I don't see it. I've been doing pool work. I haven't had a full-time consistent job since for the last seven and a half years. Every year I've been working <coughs> seasonal jobs. You know, I've been doing pools for the last four years. Every time around this time, right like now, I'm at home in the wintertime eating grilled cheese sandwiches, which are good. And, you know, I've usually been able to nail deer, go out and nail one so I can have meat. That's pretty much, you know, the way people are living. But, you know, Obama doesn't understand it. Hillary doesn't understand it. Because they're all tired of special interests. There's people lying their pockets. If Hillary loses, there's a lot of people that are going to lose out. And the media, the reason why they're supporting Hillary is because they realized, oh shit, this is going to fall on us. See, what people don't remember is Trump actually ran four years ago trying to run for president, and his election didn't amount to much. Then at a comedy fundraiser, a bunch of people were making jokes saying, oh, Trump couldn't get president if he wanted to. Well, guess what? Trump, just like any other man, said, oh yeah, watch this shit. And look where he's at. I, I am pretty confident he's going to win, but we all need to do our part. We all can't just say, oh yeah, he's got this and not go and vote. We all need to go out and vote. Full disclosure, I don't own a vehicle. The place I'm going to go vote is about four miles from my house. I'm going to get my happy ass up, drop my work boots on, and walk over there. I'll be one of the first ones in line. Go ahead and vote. 
And another thing, I live in the state of Maryland. They're not allowing electronic devices. Check people online and Google your the regulations. If you can have a phone in there, take a picture of it of you voting for Trump or Hillary. I mean, if you vote for Hillary, hey, go go for it. You know, at your funeral. But you know what? See if you can get a picture of it, because we all know there's a, a potential voter fraud. And post it up on social media if you want to. I don't really post too much about my political views on social media, just because I just don't like to listen to a bunch of people say, "Oh, you're stupid." For voting for well, yeah, well, you don't give a fuck about America for voting for Hillary. You know, Trump apologized for everything he ever did wrong. Hillary still hasn't apologized for Benghazi. Until that bitch does, she can go fuck herself. Bitch, this is for you. I tell you, sit and spin, but I don't want syphilis of the finger. All right, you know, you made your money supporting a rapist. You know, which I'd add, you know, we all got to make jobs, we all got to make a living. But don't go around criticizing other people for shit you done did, bitch. I don't care. So people just get out and vote. I'm with Trump. I don't care. Let's make America great again. So keep a man in there that's godly, that believes in prayer. We also need to keep some keep someone in there that cares about our Second Amendment rights. We also need someone that cares about keeping this country safe and we can do right. Trump also supports police officers and funding for them. He also supports better funding for the military. So he cares about the people to protect us to go out there and do our everyday lives. And that's what I care about. So you know what? Fuck Hillary. Fuck Toyota. Get out and vote. Hopefully see you guys with a new president by the time my next video is. God bless America. God bless you all.